What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to add our product pages for our e-commerce website with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to add our product pages for our e-commerce website. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last couple of videos, we set up the ability to log in, log out, register new users. In this video, we want to add our product pages. So we've got these listings here, but when we click on this, nothing happens. So we want to be able to click on this and go to a separate page that just has that product and whatever information we might want to have. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find the link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django e-commerce series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we need to create separate pages for each product. And we can do that sort of automatically. We don't have to create thousands of pages. Django will just take the ID of each product and spin up a separate page for each product. So to do that, anytime we create something in Django, it's always a three-step process. We need a URL, we need a view, and we need a template file. So let's go over to our urls.py file, and I'm just gonna copy this top guy here. And let's come down here and paste that in. And let's point this to product slash, and then in here, let's pass integer PK. What this will do is this will create a URL with, you know, localhost colon 8,000 slash product slash, and then the number of the product. So if it's product number eight, this is an integer with primary key of eight. So that'll do that. So let's go views.product, and let's give this a name of product. Go ahead and save that, that looks good. We can close that file and let's head over to reviews.py file and let's come up here and let's define product. We want to pass in the request. We also want to pass in that primary key and you'll see how that sort of gets passed in just a second. And let's come down here and let's just copy all of this stuff here and paste it in. Now we still need to look up the product. That product will equal, let's change the name of the variable to product because it's just one product. And let's have this say get and we want the ID to equal the primary key. So this will look up in our product model. Remember our models.py. We've got all of our product stuff here, right? And it will get the specific product that we've clicked on. So if we click on whatever product is number eight, this eight will get passed in right here in the URL that we just did. And then we can use that to look up that product. And then let's send that to the, the actual homepage itself. So, okay. Now, this is not gonna be a home page. this is gonna be the product page. So this is gonna be product.html. So, all right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this. Now, we need this product.html page. So let's go ahead and copy this and head over to our templates and right click, or we can expand and then right click. And let's say new file, and let's go file save as, and we wanna save this as product.html. You can see it did not update. Again, it's doing that. So I'm gonna go over here and hit refresh, and boom, there it is. So I'm gonna grab our about page. I'm just gonna copy everything from here and then I'm gonna paste it in here. Let's come up here to the top. We don't necessarily want all this header stuff because remember if we go back to the website and we click on the about page, it's got this header thing. We probably don't want that on the product page. So let's get rid of that real quick and that's all this header stuff. So we could just highlight all of this and delete it. Let's just leave the rest of this stuff for now. So, okay, we've got this page, we've got our URL, we've got our view. Now, if we go back to the home page right here, you'll notice when we scroll down and we get in here, we've got this view options button here. Basically, it's a URL, but it looks like, if we come back here, it's this button right here. We want this to go to whatever product this is. So let's head down here and instead of having it say view options, let's just say uh, view product. And then here is the actual link. So let's create a Django URL tag. And we want this to point to product. But we also need to say which product, right? So we have this product right here, product.price, product.sale price, product.name. Product uh, we can also call product.id. So right after this, we just go product.id. So if this is kind of hard to read, let me tab this over so we can see. <laughs> this is all jumbled together. We've got an href tag and it's pointing to 
product with a product.id. So let's go ahead and save this. Now you'll remember we have a couple of scenarios here. We have uh, up at the top here, we have, we're testing to say, hey, is the thing on sale? If it is, do all of this stuff. If it's not, see else, do all of this stuff. So we need to make that same change down here also. So again, let's change this to view product and let's point this to, again, same thing, a URL of product with product.id. All right, so let's go ahead and save this, head back over to the web page, hit reload, hopefully that worked. And so here we have Python programming. If we click this, boom, it goes to this page. Notice this is product number three. And if you'll come back here and hover your mouse, look down at the bottom left-hand corner, it says localhost colon 8,000 slash product slash three. So this has an ID of three. It's creating a URL of product slash three, because again, if we look at our urls.py file, we passed in that three right here. That's that integer primary key thing right there. And that creates that URL. And then boom, we've got all of this stuff. So very cool. We've got now pages. Now there's Obviously we don't want all this text, we want something. So let's head over to Git Bootstrap very quickly here. And we're probably not gonna keep it like this forever, but just for now, let's throw up a little something that looks decent-ish. Scroll down here to cards and let's scroll, you know, this is the card we used on the homepage, this thing right here, right? Uh, we don't wanna use that. Let's look and see what else we have. See if there's something that looks snazzy. Uh, maybe that, uh, Oh, let's use this thing a little bit different and we can play around with this a little bit. Like I said, we're probably going to change this later, but just for now, let's, let's use this. So I'm going to copy this to the clipboard, head back over to our products page. And instead of all of this stuff, let's get rid of that. And you know what? Let's get rid of all of this stuff and all of this stuff. Let's clean slate this guy. We probably do want this container. And let's just paste all this stuff in here. And let's save this and look and see what we've got here. So let's head back over here and hit reload. And okay, well, that didn't look great. <laughs> we deleted one thing too many. We need a closing div tag here. So there we go. Let's add that. And let's head back over here and hit reload. Okay, that looks better. And this is scrunched right up here. Maybe we want, I don't know, a little line break or something. Whatever. We're just kind of messing around at this point. And okay, now I don't want this max width thing. So let's go ahead and take that out come back over here, make it a little bigger. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, so let's come through here and start to play around with this and add in our information. So uh, we can add in all of our product stuff. So let's go product dot image dot URL. And if we save this head back over here, hit reload. All right, boom, there's our product image. And here where it says card title, actually, let's sort of center all this stuff just for fun. And actually, let's sort of center all of our stuff inside of here. So let's go right here. Let's just create a center tag. And down here somewhere, we'll close that center tag. Instead of card title here, let's have this say, what, product.name. And we're pulling all of these things, product.image URL, product.name from our models.py file. Remember, let's see if we open this up and scroll down to our product, we can call name, price, category, description, image, is sale and sale price. So we're gonna use all of that stuff in here. So let's go product.name. And inside of here, let's go product.description, save that. And let's see how this looks. Okay, so we've got the title, we got the description, our description is pretty crappy. This is last updated three minutes ago, we probably don't need that. And let's add some line breaks below here just to flush this out a little bit for now. Like I said, we're going to update this later and make it look much cooler. But in the meantime, uh, let me just add a bunch of these. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, maybe too many, but you know, whatever. Okay, so here also, let's add a back button. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of this and create an href tag and let's have this say home and let's point this to a Django URL tag that points home and let's give this a class of btn space btn dash secondary, make it a gray button, just a bootstrap thing. 
close our A tag, and then let's point this to home. So if we save this, head back over here, hit reload. Now it says home. If we click this, it goes home. So, okay, that is good. Now we also probably want the price, but again, remember, we have to designate whether it's a sale or not. So let's head back over here and let's see, down here, let's do some logic. So let's go if product dot is underscore, underscore sale. And then right away, cause I always forget, I'm gonna end our if. And somewhere in here, we're also gonna need an else statement. So I'll just mock this all out right now. And inside of here, if the product is on sale, remember we've got this code on our homepage. Uh, let's see, come up here to the top. And if it is on sale, we have a strike through of the product price and then the sale price. We also have this little star thing here. So I don't know, let's just copy all of this stuff. And actually let's do it from right here. Let's just bring all of this over to our product page and let's bop that in there. And if we want, we can bop all this over. So let's see, that looks good. Else, if it's not on sale, we just want the actual price. So that's gonna be product dot price. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this. See how badly we messed that up. Hit reload and uh, well, we need, let's go back. We need a line break there. Mm, da, 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 da. Let's just do, let's do a couple. Why not? Okay, now hit reload. A little bit better, whatever. Like I said, there's gonna be a description here. We didn't put any descriptions. Uh, there's the sale price. And this is bugging me. Let's put a couple more line breaks there. I don't know, I'm just messing around here. This is awful. Uh, let's grab these and go, I don't know, try that. Good enough. All right, so let's go home. Now, if we click on a different product, there we go. And okay. Now, like I said, these descriptions are horrible. If we wanted to, for instance, go back to our admin section, log in as admin and click on, let's see, products and Python programming. And let's just go to Amazon <laughs> real quick and go Python, John Elder. Do, do, do. There we go. And I'm just gonna grab <laughs> the description from Amazon. And let's see, where's our description right there? Paste all this in, save it. I don't know, whatever. Head back over here, hit reload, click this. And okay, maybe that's a little wonky. We can change this around. And also notice it's cut us off because our model only allowed us to put so much description. We can change that if we want. Uh, but in the meantime, let's add some line breaks or something here. Like I said, we're gonna modify this, make it look much better later on, but for now, oh yeah, there we go. And here we can say, I don't know, justified orientation. We've used the uh, center thing, so that's overriding that. We'll play around with all that later. For now, we just want this basic setup, because like I said, we're gonna change this. This is not the way it's gonna look forever. Obviously, this is a little janky, but for now, we have the mechanism in place to where we can click on any product, boom, it goes to its own page, say product five, uh, the image comes up, the name of the thing comes up, the description, the price, and we can go back home if we want, and we are moving right along. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from Codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.